Hi guys, my name is Sean. I'm a houseplant enthusiast from Jakarta, Indonesia. I'm here with Fari Orchid in Magalang. It's such a beautiful city here. It's quite a long ways from where I live. And I really thank him for having us today. We're at his nursery and actually there's so many plants here. Uh, Fari here actually grows orchids mostly, but then he's also interested in aeroids and basically every type of genus that you can think of. Today's video is going to be a long one. We're going to just do a casual tour. Uh, Fari here is actually a YouTuber in Indonesia, probably the most watched, the number one YouTuber, if I can say so. And he has a lot of experience and care and also a lot of passion with plants and I hope that that can shine through in this video. We're just going to casually uh, walk through his massive garden here to showcase his collection. A lot of the plants that you see here are for retail, but unfortunately he does not export and so yes. this, I don't export either, so we're kind of similar <laughs> that way. But if you live in Indonesia, you know, you can reach out to him on his Instagram or if you're in Magelang area, do stop by or if you're from the, an international setting, uh, I hope that you enjoy some of the species that we cover here and if you ever come visit Indonesia, I hope that you m can make your way here to look at his beautiful garden. So I guess we're just gonna get started, yeah? Okay. Yeah. That's a beautiful coleus. So this is the entrance to Fari Orchid and that's Mr. Fari himself. And a quick glimpse of everything. Look at how lush that is. So we're gonna go through all of that in two episodes because there's actually quite a lot to cover but we're gonna start with the orchids, I guess, because Fabri Orchid, uh, the name, as the name suggests. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we have Celogene Pandorata. This is species from Borneo, Kalimantan, wow. Sumatra, and Thailand. So a lot of places. Uh, yeah. It, yeah. It came from a lot of places. Does it flower uh, often or not? Uh, this is often flower flowering. Very nice, yeah. Yeah, and it's green on green, so it's a mm. bit uh, so fragrance. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't smell anything. <laughs> is it this one? Smell, I smell this one. Oh my god, yes, yes. It's very complicated. I love it. It's a little bit like a bit like lemon, but mm -hmm. sweet. Yes, oh my God. Uh, like a lemon, a lemon lime. Yeah. Uh, this flowering every three months. Damn, okay. But this is uh, not everlasting flowers, yeah. only five days. Five days? Yes. Uh, I mean, is this uh, expensive or is this quite affordable? This is uh, middle. Middle, yeah. Mm -mm. I think I, I this is on my wish list now. I, yeah, this is so nice. Uh, the flower, the smell, really is an experience. Mm -hmm. It's a whole, it's another world. Thank you for sharing. Okay. Uh, and these are just phalaenopsis, yeah. This is hybrid phalaenopsis. Okay. Hybrid phalaenopsis. I have a few pedilum can color. Oh my gosh! Look at this. Yeah. <laughs> But this looks like apa, the lidah katak, which is like the, another succulent. But it, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? It does look like that other succulent, but this is actually an orchid. This is orchid. And the leaves are beautiful, but then the flowers are actually very interesting, yeah? Looks translucent. And this one is so special. This is from Papua. Papua New Guinea and Australia. This is Dendrobium convolutum. It's a species. Species Dendrobium convolutum. This is uh, the rare one and so expensive. Okay. Now, for a lot of these orchids, uh, do you propagate them here or do you only uh, like take and sell them? I propagate it. Uh, minimal is to bulk, sell the bulk mm -hmm. to propagate. Like how do you, you cut it and stick it in? No, <laughs> here. Oh, I I cut here. Okay. Yeah. In rhizome. So that makes it so it already has roots. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Nice. What are all these? These are uh, really quite spectacular. These are two of the same orchids but different color. Yeah. This is a dendrobium from section spatulata, but this is a hybrid. Okay. Okay, ini, uh, this is hybrid, Indonesian hybrid. It's very tall, yeah? Mm -mm. 
this is uh, low maintenance and uh, low moderate mm -hmm. so good for we that live in moderate altitude okay not long lasting hard. flower about three months okay <laughs> wow okay this is a dendrobium macrophyllum this is native to java yeah sumatra uh, sulawesi and papua yeah this one is long lasting flower about two months nice dendrobium macrophyllum is easy to grow okay. and the leaves look really uh, typical of mm -hmm. dendrobiums the flowers are just uh, quite nice the root. and it grows in a uh, uh, bark yeah bark yes i use bark pine bark okay pine bark uh, generally how do you water this uh, every day or some of my orchid is watering every day mm -hmm. and phalaenopsis hybrid is about two weeks At once every two weeks mm -hmm. why they doesn't don't like water because uh phalaenopsis i use sphagnum moss ah okay uh, so depending on the media you mm -hmm. water depending on media i use sphagnum moss so this doesn't need watering every day okay nice but generally speaking they need to dry out completely mm -hmm. uh, between watering and you just shared to me that you started uh, collecting orchids in 2013 or 2003 2013 13 yeah and you learned all this by experience by experience i learning by doing yeah I I grow and I learning how to care each orchid I have. That's crazy because Orchidaceae family has so many species and so many species. species, so many genus, and every each of genus yeah ne uh, they they need different require different care. Yeah. Look at this one. This is very small flowers. Oncidium. This is Oncidium. And you remember all of them, even though they don't have any tags. Most here. of them, I know their name. This is Irides odorata. Okay. Native to Magelang. Oh, nice. Hello, <laughs> beauty. <laughs> and this is one thing that I respect about you. You learn. Mm -hmm. I mean, you share the complete Latin name of the plants. This shows that you have respect for the taxonomy of the plants that is incredible even sometimes i struggle to remember so many plant species and they just have spectacular roots sometimes mm -hmm. even without the flower they can have really nice leaves and roots this one is most wanted item this dendrobium super bean okay. this one is natural hybrid between dendrobium discolor and dendrobium bikibum natural hybrid so it's very rare uh it's not rare but some people like this okay because uh it's flowering oh, oh, year round all oh, year round. round it's flowering year round so this is going to be here the whole time hmm. it doesn't come off or doesn't fall or uh this this one is long lasting flower about two months Okay, and then and then in fluorescence is growing too long. Okay, and this is fast growing too or no? The fast growing, fast growing. This fast growing. Now what happens when these are, are these dead technically? Like the hmm? are these already dead? No, this is still can produce keiki. 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 Do baby. you know keiki? Yes. 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 It's the baby. So you don't cut this off? No, I oh. I can uh, I don't cut this because sometimes. It, uh, this one is able to flowering and grow keiki. Do you use keiki paste? You know that. I, that's something I don't. Like I natural. Don't. Yeah. Naturally can grow keiki. Ah, oh, that's why you leave it on. Okay, good tip. Sometimes people cut it off, right? <laughs> okay, nice. And uh, this one, Dendrobium spectabile. Is this already open or not? The flowers. Yeah. Uh, this is not yet. Not, not yet. Not okay. yet open. 
because it looks underwhelming mm. for now. Yeah. This one is so rare from Papua. Yes. Do you have a picture of the flower? I mm. have. Yeah, we're gonna insert that on the screen if I can. Yes, ask I have. For it. Mm. So there are a lot of dendrobium. This one is the large one of dendrobium spectabile. Yeah. This is quite, mm. yeah. And one way we can recognize dendrobium is from the leaf shape, yeah, it's quite mm -hmm. similar. This is the seed of dendrobium spectabile. So the flower's gone and now this is seed. Yes. Did you pollinate it yourself or did it? And this is nature, natural, natural hybrid, uh, natural selfing. Self-pollination. Self-pollination. So one flower by itself or many flowers? By itself, with okay. one flowers. Does it need insects to help? Mm -hmm. okay. Insect or rain. Okay. Or wind. Is it possible that another species may have pollinated? No, not possible. Uh, it's difficult to happen. Okay. For the Nubium spectabile, it's difficult to happen. Mostly, uh, hanya satu bunga ini. Okay. Selfing, selfing. Self pollination. Not cross. Yeah. What is this one? This is looking very funky. Hello. This is. Uh, only one hour last uh, one one day's flowers okay do you know the species name uh, this is from section grastidium dendrobium okay. from section grastidium this one is from papua and flower has glitter <laughs> glitter on it mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, and are you going to eat this yes <laughs> okay <laughs> And then there's a lot when they put out this. Did they have flower before fruit? No. Yes, they have flowers, flowers. and then fruits, and then the babies will show up mm -hmm. below it. That's all bromeliads are, yeah, bromeliad, are like yeah. that, yeah. And is this fruit gonna get bigger? Because this is quite small. This is gonna get bigger. It is. Mm -hmm. And then you can plant the top too. You can cut it and. Uh, yes, you, you can plant from this top spot. This is so pretty. Oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> And there's some Dishidias here. Yeah, Dishidia, Hoya. <clears throat> this one is this Dishidia Oyanta Farigata. Yeah, this is so fat here, mm -hmm. my goodness. And this one is Ruskifolia. Yeah. It's time to propagate, but I have no space anymore. Mm -hmm. They actually will look good after you mount them or you pot them up later. They will look quite nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a Dishidia Jerry. This one is this is the Ophata. Mm -hmm. mm. Very sun stressed. Look at how pink they are. They get red when they're sun stressed. And then there are some Hoyas here. This one is blooming. Hoya. Oh, really stunning. And nice leaves. Some Colocasias. These are very common, yeah? Yeah. They grow like weed everywhere. <laughs> So okay. this is what a keiki looks like. And then you can pluck it off and yeah. grow it. This is Dendrobium fimbriatum from Assam, China, India. Okay. And it's putting a lot of keiki, so I see another one. If I can aim it. Yeah, that's a keiki, right? That one. Yeah, Vanda. It's a Vanda? Vanda. This one is Vanda. Oh, so there is two living <laughs> I thought it's the same <laughs> part. Plant and same. Yeah. Do Vanda orchids like more light than others? Uh, more air, good air movement. Air movement. And we need water, watering every day for, for Vanda. Thirsty, good mm, air movement. Because they grow without media. Okay, but do they like more light? Because that's what I heard. Give them full sun, but I may have burned mine. Um, it's not true. Not true, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. They need shady area. Okay. Not direct sun. So there's a lot of Hoyas here. This one is Fandopsis lisocloides. But it is a little bit finishing, yeah? The, mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's done flowering. Fandopsis so lisocloides. Yeah. Native to Indonesia. Mm -hmm. What are And these? this one is orchid from America Tropical America. This is Trigonodium egertonianum. It is so tiny. <laughs> tiny flowers. Yeah, very tiny. But it's very beautiful. Very pretty flowers. So you really like all kinds of orchids. Right? Yeah. And what is this one here? This is Hoya. 
Really? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I've never seen this before. This looks really nice. This one is part of Psychopsis mariposa from Mexico. Okay, it's about to open. Yeah. Mm. So when you started plant collecting, you immediately like orchid first. Orchid first. Okay. For the flowers? Yes, for the flowers. This one is special. Uh, oh. Indonesian people call it anggrek dasi. Yeah. Because uh, it's life. life uh, it's <laughs> like a like thai. thai. That is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. But usually with big leaf like this, the flower is not that big, right? Yeah. Okay. So pretty. And the purple is really nice. Really nice coloring. And let's look at some of these color cages here. This is the mojito, yeah? Mojito. Can you share a little bit about Colocasia Claire? Look at this massive one here. Colocasia needs more water, uh, shady area, and... Not full sun, yeah? because some people say full sun. Uh, some Colocasia uh, able to grow full sun. But these ones here, not full sun. Not full sun, it's uh, shady area. Same with the mojito, yeah? not full mm -hmm. sun. White lava here, there. Is that the one with the in the middle, the white lava? White lava. <coughs> with the yellow in the middle? Yang itu ya. Yellow. I I've only started to see them recently, but I didn't know they're called the white lava. This one is also aroid. Alocasia? This is Tiponodorum. Oh wow. Tiponodorum. From genus of Tiponodorum. And it grows in water, if I yeah. can see. That's amazing. And it likes uh, not full sun. Uh, it's able to grow full sun. Yeah, I can. But uh, with air menggenang, apa ini? As uh, apa swampy, swampy water. Swampy water. And it looks like a banana tree actually. Mm. The way that it's grown. And that's really cool. It's stem like a banana stem. Yeah. It's mm. amazing. Look at all this beautiful. Any water hyacinth kind here? Is that that in the aquatic plants? They propagate themselves, right? They just multiply? Yes. This one is Farigeta. <laughs> That's cool. Do they do flower, right? Yes, but uh, they need full sun to produce flower. Okay. Itu orchid bukannya that flower there? Itu iris. Is that the walking iris? Ini apa ya? Iris, tapi ini udah jarang sih itu. Yeah, it's quite beautiful. Mm -mm. This is Alocasia triangularis. Alocasia triangularis. Nice. <laughs> Tadi, the iris is over there, yeah? Over there. Actually, their flowers are quite pretty. Do they flower often? Often. Okay. And easy to care. Mm -hmm. This is that Colocasia. What is the name again? Colocasia white lava. White lava. What is your experience with them? Are they easy for you? This is easy to grow. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, in very moist soil? Yes. Uh, in swampy water, it will be great to grow. But they need light, yeah. Mm -hmm. need light. But direct or no? Able to grow in direct sunlight. Mm -hmm. Yes, right now we're actually in very, very mm -hmm. bright. But I, I don't have space in direct sun. <laughs> But this is actually very bright because we're in uh, just a little bit of uh, shade cloth here. Triangularis. Is that the same one as before? The alocasia. That's really, really pretty actually, very sculptural. Alright, so oh my goodness. Ooh, sauna. It's like, so, uh, how many sun. percent humidity? 100? <laughs> That is really cool. This one is from Sit Anthurium Magnificum. Mm. Anthurium Magnificum. This one is Anthurium Hockeri Black. Mm -hmm. So these are the plants that are still young, propagating, mm -hmm. because it's very humid here, right? This one from propagating. Mm -hmm. Anthurium Dorayaki. Yeah. Nice. So cute. Look at all these babies. And do you don't water this area often, right? Because it's already very humid? Yes, it is. We have some seedlings happening. What are these guys? 
Anthurium clarinervium seeds. Okay. Are they already germinated? This is actually quite wet. They're okay with this wetness usually? Or? Yes, it's okay. Uh, when it's sprout, I open... Oh, a little bit. Mm-hmm. And there's some water propagation <laughs> happening down there. It is super humid in here, my goodness. Andreum magnificum. Oh, wow. So you ha- actually pollinate this yourself and yeah, it's at seed? It's pollinate naturally. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. So you let things go naturally here, yeah? Yes. You don't mess with them too much. This one is Anthurium for German. Papilaminum for German. It's a hybrid, yeah. Uh, Selfing, this is Self. still species. This one is Anthurium Manila Sprite. Oh, this is actually pretty when it's uh, yeah. it's big. It's very pretty. And in here, there too, yeah. What is Opuntia, yeah? What's this? Opuntia. But it's coming from a woody stem. Look at all the babies that are coming out. This is really cool. They're actually quite invasive sometimes. They mm-hmm. can grow really, really fast. Easy to grow. Why I grow so many opuntia? Mm-hmm. Because uh, this is uh, best food for tortoise. <gasps> you feed to the yeah, tortoise? with this opuntia. So they eat the whole thing? They mm-hmm. eat the... Oh, wow. It's not toxic. Do you want to see? Yeah, please. Okay. Opuntia is uh, this favorite food. This one is Radiata tortoise. Wow, that is an expensive food. Because <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you actually grow this from, for cutting, yes. it could be sold for some money as well. <laughs> okay. But actually, Opuntia, if you leave them alone, they can grow really fast and really... Really wow. fast, really easy to grow with any condition. Mm-hmm. And you have here some iguanas as well. Iguana, yeah? Iguana. <laughs> I didn't say it correctly. Some Monstera deliciosa. Oh, can we please look at this? <laughs> <laughs> look at this madness here. This is crazy. There are caladiums. Mm-hmm. Uh, so they're all uh, species and hybrids also? Uh, most of them are hybrid. Okay, this one's yeah. This one is Wayang, mm-hmm. Gingerland. And these are quite popular. Uh, are these easy or difficult for you? Uh, Easy here. Easy, yeah. Easy to grow. Uh, they we'll need uh, more sunlight. Direct or no direct? Able to direct sunlight. Okay. This one is Anggur Merah. Mm. Is it a local hybrid? Because it's got a local. Yeah, thing. local hybrid from Pak Nugrus, Semarang. Mm. I may have to check out his collection. This one, uh, this one is quite expensive, about. Fifteen thousand U.S. dollars or uh, juta. Fifteen million. Million. In Fifteen million. That's a lot. Oh my God. <laughs> rupiah. Fifteen million million rupiah. That's crazy. This one is stardust. Most wanted item. Stardust. Yeah. Yeah. Stardust. Are these for sale here or no? Or are you growing them out? Uh, yes, for sale. Okay. Look at these. And they look so happy here, my goodness. So a bit of direct sunlight were possible. Mm-mm. And what about watering? What's your... Uh, watering every day and we can use swampy water. Okay. Do they go dormant? When it grow in swampy water, it's they not dormant. They wander all year long, it's uh-uh. uh, leaves. Very cool, very nice. I think caladiums are something that not many people talk about and it's nice to see so many of them here and they're all, they're all quite wonderful, aren't they? Interesting. 
So I guess this is uh, enough for part one. We're gonna move on to part two, so I will see you in the next episode for the second part.